Carolyn Bertozzi's lab at the University of California, Berkeley, is a place where invention happens every day. I think all scientists at some level are inventors. I mean, you have to be at some level. Uh, if you want to create new science and new knowledge, invention is, is absolutely mandatory. Bertozzi's inventions have focused on cells, and specifically the glycans, or sugars, that cover the surfaces of cells and mediate cell-to-cell -cell communication. The way that we visualize sugars, the way that we image them, is we slip a little chemical functional group into their structure using metabolism. And if the chemical modification is subtle enough, then those modified sugars are eaten up by the cells and incorporated into the cell surface sugar molecules. So now um, we have this functional group, which enables us to do a chemical reaction on your cell surface sugars. Because she wanted to observe these chemical reactions in living organisms, Bertozzi needed to ensure that the chemical group on the modified sugar wouldn't harm or even change the inherent biology of the cell, a capability she labeled bioorthogonal. What that means literally is not interacting with or interfering with biology. Bertozzi then developed a second bioorthogonal chemical group. This one attached to an imaging probe to interact with the modified sugars on the cell surface. And when those two functional groups encounter each other, it's like two people meeting across a crowded room. You know, they just ignore all the other molecules and react and form a chemical bond. And they do it in a manner that doesn't offend the biological system at all. That is really striking. Bertozzi performs these bioorthogonal chemical reactions in zebrafish, analyzing how their cells grow to maturity. By actually visualizing the sugars and watching them change as an embryo develops, we can learn about basically how the cells are making their decisions. And we're just using the sugars as basically a readout of what's going on inside the cell. She hopes this powerful imaging tool could one day help researchers detect and target cancer cells in humans. If we can visualize the sugars on those cancer cells and discriminate them from the sugars on the normal cells, we might be able to detect cancers through imaging techniques or even follow the progression of a course of drug therapy to see how the drug is affecting the cancer. Another Bertozzi invention that's reshaping the biotech industry is her aldehyde tag which is a method for modifying proteins. What we've done is develop a method that allows us to install a bioorthogonal functional group onto a specific site of a protein. And that functional group serves as a platform that we then use to attach man-made objects to the protein to generate these bionic proteins that have new properties. By attaching these new elements onto monoclonal antibodies that are already used to target specific cells, Bertozzi thinks the aldehyde tag technology can improve drug potency, lowering costs, and reducing side effects. Our chemistry allows us to take antibodies and attach drug molecules to them so that we can generate a conjugate. The antibody targets the drug to a cancer and makes the drug that much more potent. Bertozzi grew up in a science-oriented household outside Boston, where her father is a physicist at MIT. So I had access to gadgets, and strange devices. To be honest though, at the time, I don't think I realized that they were science gadgets. They were kind of equivalent to my Barbie dolls in the repertoire of toys. Today, as director of the Molecular Foundry at the Lawrence Berkeley National Laboratory, one of Bertozzi's jobs is to provide science gadgets to nanoscientists. You can put something non-native there. But working with students is perhaps her greatest passion, especially helping them see how challenging, yet rewarding, scientific pursuit can be. Failing is just fine. In fact, it's just an absolutely required part of the process. And really, what we should be teaching them is how to fail with grace <laughs> and with uh, humor, you know? And I think uh, just reminding yourself that, that when you're in the moment, science is fun. It, there's always a discovery to be made. And whether that discovery is the one you wanted to make, you know, that's maybe the secondary issue. But, but every day, there will be a discovery. There will be a gadget that you invent or a technology that you optimize. Um, you will learn something that nobody else knew, and you will create knowledge along the way. My name is Carolyn Bertozzi, and I'm an inventor.